Dear Mr. Franz Tavares, um, you are here at the African Works Conference. First question is, what have brought you here to this conference? Uh, uh, what brought me here is the opportunity to um, get to know uh, what is going on in many other African countries uh, and also learn from um, uh, Dutch experience in their relationship with Africa. So we are coming here to expand our network and try to find new partners. And one of the slogans is Africa is rising. And I want to know, you are from Cape Verde. How do you see this in practice? Yeah, Cape Verde is, is uh, raising as well. Uh, uh, we've been um, um, increasing in many fields. Cape Verde has been developing in social, economic um, uh, fields. And Cape Verde is doing good. Uh, we can see as well that many other countries are um, uh, developing, are giving opportunities to their people. Uh, so um, we are very excited for the future. And as we can uh, talk about creating new partnerships, um, I think one of the partners are one of important partners are small and medium scale enterprises. How important are they for Africa? Uh, for Africa, it's extremely important. 99.9% uh, .9 of uh, companies in Africa are small, micro, small, and medium-sized uh, companies, and they've been showing um, capacity to um, um, employ people, to support the employment uh, policies in Africa, but also uh, increasing their ability to support economic growth. So um, uh, many countries, many developed countries, put SMEs policies in the forefront of their policy and Africa is doing the same as well. Um, if I can say for this conference, um, the, one, this, the enterprises who are here are more Dutch enterprises, European uh, enterprises, so you, um, most of them could think that Europe will benefit more from Africa than Africa ben benefits from, its, from itself. Is that true? I don't see on that side. I, uh, uh, we looking. We have to look to win-win uh, partnerships uh, where uh, everyone can win. Uh, if Africa wins and European uh, partners win as well, I think we setting up um, a um, a opportunity for a long-term uh, partnership, and it should be that way. A long-term partnership where both sides can win. Okay, long-term partnership, that's an, a new word I've heard today. Can you explain that? How do you see that? Uh, if you see that Africa has um, many challenges that uh, can only be addressed if we have a long-term view <laughs> and build a long-term uh, partnership will be key for us to keep on growing and consolidating um, gains that we'll be having in the future. So it, it must be a long-term view and long-term partnership with everyone so we can in fact uh, secure that development is um, uh, concrete and solid. Ah, thank you very much for your interview. Do you want to add something? Um, yeah, I would um, like to see uh, 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 European institutions to um, uh, strengthen their the cooperation with us. Uh, Cape Verde has been uh, able to uh, make a good use uh, of this partnership. We've been growing for the last 40 years. Uh, currently, we achieved uh, a reference level in many fields, in social fields, in economic fields, human development. So um, uh, we are very thankful for the uh, European partners and hopefully we can continue together. So Cape Verde is a place to invest. Yeah, Cape Verde is definitely a place to invest. Uh, we are a very stable country. Uh, we are very um, the the human resources skills have been growing uh, for the last 20 years. Uh, we are very well placed between uh, uh, three continents: the Africa, the Americas, and and Europe. So we can be a center of investment in the Africa region, namely the. Um, uh, the, the, the West Coast, so uh, you can enter to the large West Coast market through Cape Verde and the doors are open to everybody.